Thank you very much, Esther. Everyone says I need no introduction and then they introduce me. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and anyone who doesn't fit into that category. I have to start off by saying congratulations to the champion of Spell B season eight, Ananya. Very well done. It is a huge accomplishment and I was there. I know that it's very difficult at that time on television when everyone is watching you to hold your nerve and those words were very difficult. In my average day, I don't use any of these words. The words that I've pronounced over the past few days, certainly not in my chosen profession. I have to also, of course, mention the other finalists, a special mention to Samyukta. You came so close to winning. You could have won. And what I loved about what you said on the episode was that the important thing was that you surpassed your previous performance. And I think that's what it's all about, to be the best that you can be, to set goals for yourself, and to keep improving. And you certainly did that. And in my mind and in everyone's mind, you are absolutely a winner. So congratulations to you as well. I also have to mention our other two finalists, Rakshit. I thought perhaps this time there would be a boy who would win Spell B. It wasn't to be, but you did very well, and everyone will always remember your semi-final and how you came back from 10 points in round one to conquer round two and make it through to the grand finale. You held your nerve, and again, as I said, in a competition like this, you require nerves of steel, and you proved that you have that. So well done to you, Rakshit. And of course, Anushka, you came back, and what I loved about your performance was that you had grace under pressure, and that's another thing that this competition tests. And I think you laughed hard at all of my jokes, so thank you for that. <laughs> and I know that you like jokes with, with puns in them, so I have a joke for you. Let me see if I can remember it. Do you know the one about the man who had his whole left side cut off? No? I hear he's all right now. You see, all right, okay, ha ha. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, just before I started hosting this, and it is my fourth year now that I've been hosting uh, Spell B, it's been wonderful, but when I speak to all my friends and my colleagues about it, they always ask me, what is the point of a spelling bee in today's generation? When, as you said, everyone is on their smartphones and computers and we have autocorrect and spell check and things like that. What is the need to learn how to spell? And I was always unsure how to tell them, but every time I meet all of you, I'm reminded by the fact that all of us here celebrate the English language and many other languages, and we realize that there is a world for that outside of technology even today. And it's important to remember that and to celebrate words in the pure sense that they were written and meant to be, and that wonderful relationship between the, the spoken and the written, and the written world. And, and that is what spelling is, the relationship between the spoken and the written word. And that can only take place when we do things like this and when we converse like this, and when we learn the etymology of a word or the pronunciation and these wonderful confounding rules that make the English language. And that can't happen when we're playing Candy Crush. It just can't. So I think that it is wonderful to do that, and I think it's testament to the fact that I'm not the only person who feels that way, because if it wasn't, then we wouldn't be in season eight of Classmates Bell B, and it wouldn't be on television, and we wouldn't have people like ITC backing it, Radio Mirchi coming up with this initiative, Times of India being involved, so we wouldn't have all these corporates be behind us. It's not just about the children and us. We all celebrate the English language for what it is. I also think that what's wonderful about all 16 of you is what is testament again to this spelling bee competition, that it reminds us that it's very healthy to learn lessons in life and it's best if you learn them young. Um, as I said, Anushka's grace under pressure or Rakshit's nerves of steel, but also dedication, hard work, studying, research, perseverance. Um, I forget whose icon was Kalpana Chavla. Um, is, was there someone here? Ah, it was Ananya again. There you go. Dedication and hard work, and that's what you said motivated you. And for all of you who came back, uh, some of you come back season after season, like Rishi, he came back, and um, of course Anushka came back, Samyukta came back, and that again shows that if you have to try and try again, and sometimes you will succeed. And even if you don't, 
loss and ups and downs are part of life and it's a healthy lesson to learn. And all of you dealt so well with being eliminated. I tried to mock spell B at home the week before I hosted this with my friends and all of them behaved so badly. All of you were brilliant, really. There was so much grace and so much wonderful camaraderie and sportsmanship and I think that's what this competition teaches all of us as well. And of course, it's about learning new words. Some of you, like I think they just had a word as simple as mayonnaise, which was his favorite word. Uh, some people's words were more difficult. I always learn new words with every season and my vocabulary keeps expanding. And if that makes me a geek, then I'm a geek and I would like to tell you that the nerd culture is back in and it's cool, so it's cool to be a geek. Yay! <laughs> It has been such a pleasure getting to know all 16 of you. I hope that some of you will come back again next season, those of you who can, uh, those of you who can't. Continue dreaming and pursuing those dreams and following your heart and being the best that you can be. I absolutely need to congratulate each and every one of you for making it to this level and for participating in competitions like this and for being wonderful, fabulous people. It's really wonderful to interact with you. It's been a highlight uh, of my year so far.